on, Doc. Uh, these couples, they come to me every day, and, and, and they're always looking so happy. And I, I try to give them advice, but, but you know, what if I blow up? What if I say the wrong thing? There's so much pressure. What do I say? What do I do? Tell them it's important to share their feelings regularly and have plenty of good, healthy sex. Now, go do your show. You're good. You are very, very good. Thank you, Dr. Ruth. Thanks a lot. You are a good host, Gary. But from what I just heard, don't quit your day job. We have three new couples who are going to battle it out for a great second honeymoon. Let's meet them. First, she's a 35-year-old housewife, and he's a 48-year-old marketing consultant. They've been married 22 months. Say hi to Iris and Nick House. Hey, welcome to our house. <laughs> Next, she's a student. He's a manager of a courier company. They're both 28 years old. They've been married 15 months. Let's meet Jerry and Brett Hallmeyer. They're both 27, she's an account executive, and he's an account manager. They've been married just three months. Say hi to Michelle and Mark Carney. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Mark, good luck to you. A big hand for all three newlywed couples tonight. Let's do it. Now I'm going to be asking you a bunch of questions about each other, your relationship, that you're going to have to match answers. Matching answers get points. Couple with most points, we'll get that second honeymoon. Michelle, I'm going to start with you. You're going to kick the ball off here by looking at Mark. Not many people know it, but I'm secretly very talented at... Stop the tape there because I want you to finish Mark's sentence for 10 points. Tennis. He's very good at tennis. Picking out women's clothes. I'm gonna test. Come on. Mark, are you picking out women's clothes for your wife or for <laughs> your... I'd better be. But yes, yes I am. Okay. When we just went out shopping a little while ago. I picked out her outfits for her. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Is is he is he good? He's a very good tennis player, and a lot of people don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All about the clothes? Yes, he's good. Oh, yeah, okay. Jerry, same deal. Take a look at Brett. When we first met, the thing my wife found most attractive about me was. What you find most attractive about him? His butt. <laughs> Wet butt. My humor. <laughs> My humorous butt. <laughs> well, do you agree? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yeah, he <laughs> always made me laugh. Yep. Uh, yeah. And you got a compliment, Brad. No, I'm not. But you didn't get any points. I can't argue that one. All right, Iris, here's Nick. It really turns me on when my wife calls me. Oh, that babe. 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 Her baby. I think that's Christian. Uh, all right, there's 10 points for you and your baby. Now let's switch things around. So, babe, take a look at ours. When it comes to looks, I hope my kids don't inherit my husband's stomach. Oh, you're quick with that. Okay. Big stomach. <laughs> you know, I got one little flaw, so... Yeah. Well, you know what that is. Baby fat. That's right. <laughs> okay. Brad, here's Jerry. The last time I made a crank call, it was to... Who was it to, Brett? My sister. Your sister. Brett's sister. My mother. Oh. Why did you crank your mom? You told me to. You said you hate when she calls and hangs oh, up before oh, she leaves a message. That's right. But she told you told me to call her and hang up on her. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he told you to do it. <laughs> All right, Mark, take a look Next at Michelle. Step. I refuse to make love to my husband unless he <laughs> brushes my teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush my teeth. 
brushes his teeth. Wow. Good one. Yeah, no, that seems perfectly reasonable. I'm not arguing with you here. I'm just wondering how bad his breath could be. It's not that I'll ever find out, but you got 10 points. Uh, unfortunately, the whole match right now, you don't have any points, but there's a lot of game to go. In first place are the houses, bringing out the house with 20 points. When we come back, America's favorite sex therapist, Dr. Ruth, will ask our newlyweds some questions which will reveal the truth about marriage. So don't go away. to the newlywed game. Now, I always like to take a moment before this round to get to know the couples a little bit, ask you questions, but this time, I've asked my good friend, Dr. Ruth, if she had some questions for you guys. Michelle and Mark, she's gonna start with you. So, Dr. Ruth? What's been the biggest surprise about marriage? Well, I think the biggest surprise about marriage so far is just that no matter what Michelle does, I can't remember to put that toilet seat down. <laughs> I'm untrainable. Untrainable. You're untrainable. Jerry and Brett, here's Dr. Ruth. What's the best thing about being married? Uh, it's probably being able to grow old and happy with her. Oh. Oh. My best friend all my life. That's very nice. That's very nice. Iris and Nick. <laughs> what do you think is the best way? to make up after a fight. <laughs> Kiss and make up. All right. <laughs> and make love. And make love, yeah. I happen to know that that's an answer that Dr. Ruth would approve of. All right. All of those, with maybe an exception of the toilet seat problem. No doubt. All right, now right now, you in the middle there, the Jerry and Brett, the Hallmeyers, you don't have any points. It's all right. Okay. Well, Michelle and Mark Carney, you've got one match, you've got 10 points. And doubling your score over here are Iris and Nick House with 20 points. Now this round is a multiple choice round. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple choice question. Stand up to you to tell me which of the three answers I give you your mate said. Match is 10 points. I'm going to start with you, Iris. According to Nick, when you wear perfume, he can smell it only when you're close to him, throughout the house, or from a mile away. Throughout the house. <laughs> Nick, are you saying it's pungent or? Uh, no, it's just wonderful, like she is. Oh, yeah. uh, Man, Nick, you are too good to be true, huh? I thought the same thing. All right, wow. <laughs> All right, Jerry, according to Brett, would you say he's better than you at barbecuing, home repair, or absolutely nothing? I'd say home repair. Brett, what'd you say? You would say absolutely nothing. Well, well, I'd say that, but you are better at home repair than me. But I said, what will you say? <laughs> I was thinking what you are better at. Oh, well, well, you... what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So I got it right. You know, it's nice that you're paying attention, Brett, but no points. Michelle, you and your husband, Mark, are on a cruise. It's late at night. Did Mark say you would try to talk him into swimming naked in the pool, doing it on a deck chair, or sneaking a snack in the kitchen? Doing it on the deck chair. Woo! Good answer. Yeah! All right. Mark, so you can make some more points here. All right. Did Michelle say that when she's not feeling well, she'd rather you hang out with her, pamper her, or stay the hell out of her way? Oh, I know this one's definitely pamper her. Yeah. Good job. It's so good. It's so good. What would you do, Mark? I'd just take care of her. Um, she wants to be there right next to her just so she can tell me how she's feeling at all times. <laughs> I got an achy head. I got, nah, I just have to say, oh, babe, you want some aspirin? <laughs> She'll say, no, no, no. So that's it. Just sitting there and listen. Very nice. You said, oh, baby, and Nick's ears perked up over here. <laughs> he hears that. I got to be careful with that. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Brett. If there were only two seats left at the movies and they weren't together, did Jerry say you would ask someone to move so you two could sit together, take the popcorn and say, see you later, Jerry, 
or stand there and wait for her to take care of it? I'd stand there and wait for her to take care of it. What's that, Jeff? He knows I take control of things. And so you do take care of it. She's oh. very assertive. Well, yeah. You better believe it. Definitely something she's better at you at then. Uh -huh. All right. wow. <laughs> Finally, Nick, did Iris say you're most attentive during sex, after sex, or when you're trying to get sex? Oh. After sex. Oh. No? Uh -huh. Iris, you said? Well, honestly, it's during and after. <laughs> he meets all my needs. So. Yeah, yeah. We, we do a lot of cuddling after, so I'm sure that's why he said that. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I ain't mad at him. We okay, all right. All right. Yeah, you guys, it's working. It's working. All right, no points for that one, but it's working. When we come back, these wives will reveal their intimate secrets and we'll test their husband's knowledge on how well they know him. Stick around. Staying with the newlywed game, we're very happy to report that the Hallmeyers are on the board with 10 points. Yeah. The Houses, would it be Houses or Housei? Houses. The Houses <laughs> over here have 30 points. Yeah. They're tied with the parties with 30 points as well. Yeah. You guys, before the show, we had a little time with your wives, and they revealed some pretty intimate little secrets about themselves and you guys. Now, as I reveal these secrets, if you think it's your wife that said that, you're going to hold up that sign, and you're going to yell out, That's my wife! Right. Now, if you're right, you're going to get 10 points. But if you're wrong, you will lose 10 points. you got to get them up quickly. The first one in is the only one that can win or lose. Ready? She secretly buys Tootsie Rolls and hides them. That's my wife! You were right, Nick. <laughs> you're not hiding them very well. Where are you hiding them? <laughs> well, the best kept secret is, I have to tell him that he's going to know. Well, it's in pillowcase. Oh, well, he seemed to know. Well, that's not, that's that's not, not the only place. place. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know about the pillowcase. Oh, well, well, well you're not going to one. When she was a little girl, her nickname was Muffy. That's my wife. Yes. <laughs> Did you like the nickname Muffy? Not really, and that's why I don't continue to use it. So. <laughs> Till today. She's denied it, but she really did have a crush on you before you That's dated. That's my wife. Oh, my hey. What's the story, Jen? Well, everyone always said I did, but I denied it all the time. Right, but you really did. I knew it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, why'd you tell me? Because I like you telling me. Oh, I see. <laughs> she wouldn't walk down the street naked for any amount of money. That's my wife. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, that's, you know, I mean, you know, you're modest. Some things are priceless, honey. Mm-mm. They can't pay <laughs> that. Uh -uh. Nick, you agree, don't you? Yeah. Mm -mm. Behind your back, she goes shopping with her mother. That's my wife. Oh, no. <laughs> Jerry, you look surprised. I'm very surprised. How'd you know? When I'm at hockey and you, I come home, you're gone. <laughs> well, I don't know where I am. Yeah, but she comes back with bags of uh, shirts and... Jackets, stuff like that. I guess I got caught. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she would love to do it in a closet with you. <phone rings> Ladies, uh, who said that? I said that. I said that. Oh, I definitely said it. all said it, guys. <laughs> but wait a minute. We have done it in the closet, yeah. so how could you not get that? I just told you. <laughs> it wasn't a secret. I mean, it wasn't something we wanted to do. We did it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> she takes sex tips from Howard Stern. That's my wife. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now, Michelle, you've got to explain that. I listen to Howard Stern, and he talks about certain situations, and I happen to bring it home as my own idea and got busted. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, you stay tuned to that dial, because when we come back, one of these couples will win a fantastic second honeymoon. Don't go away. Welcome 
Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. This is the round you've all been waiting for because at the end of this round, one of these couples will be off on a terrific second honeymoon. Ellen, why don't you tell them where they're going? Gary, today's winners are off to the Caribbean. They'll spend a week at the Sinesta Beach Resort and Casino Curacao. Traditionally, you get colonial yet contemporary, spacious and comfortable. The Sinesta Beach Resort and Casino Curacao for a great second honeymoon. Back to you, Gary. All right. Now you know what you're playing for. Okay. Iris and her baby Nick over here. They're sitting real pretty with 50 points. They're tied right now with Michelle and Mark over there with 50 points as well. Jerry and Brett, do not despair because you have 30 points, and in this round, anything can happen. Now here's how we're going to find our winner. Guys, I'm going to give your wives a couple of choices. She's then going to hold up the sign that best applies to you gentlemen. You then have to match. But I start with 10 points, and I go all the way up to 100 points, so you can come from behind. You ready? Yeah. All right. This one is for 10 points, and ladies, get those signs up quickly. Hot fudge sundae or banana split? Nick. Banana split. Perfect. Yeah. Hot fudge sundae. Very good. Mark. Hot fudge sundae. All right. You guys are batting a thousand. This is for 20 points. James Bond or Rambo? What are you, Brett? Rambo. Perfect. Yeah. Mark. James Bond. Very, very good. Very, very good. Nick. James Bond. Yeah. James Bond. Yeah. My name is House. Nick House. <laughs> for 30 points. Tosses and turns or sleeps like a rock? Mark? Sleeps like a rock. You do very well, Nick. Tosses and turns. Does you sleep like a rock? Brett? I sleep like a rock. All right. Yeah. You had to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> For 40 points, eats lunch or skips lunch? Back to you, Nick. Eats lunch. Yeah. Brett? Eat lunch every day. You're doing really well, Mark. Definitely each one. Yeah. Right. Got a real barn burner here. All right. This is for 50 points. Keeps a secret or tells a secret? What do you do, Brett? I tell the secret. Yeah, you do. Mark? Keeps a secret. She says oh. to tell. Nick? Keeps a secret. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for 60 points. Kisses her lips or kisses all over? Mark? Kisses all over. All right. All over that deck chair and all that. Yeah. Nick? Kisses all over. Oh, okay. yeah. Brett? Kisses lips. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. This could not be a lot better. All right. Now, right now, the Hallmeyers, guess what? what? You're in first place. Woo! Yeah. You are on such a roll. You have 240. In second place are the houses over here with 230. And you guys over there, the Carnies, you've got 210. But that is by no means out of this because this is for 100 points. Anyone might be going to the Caribbean. That's she's on, fellas. Sexual aerobics or doesn't break a sweat. I'm going to start. Get it up there, ladies. There we are. All right, I'm going to start with you, Mark. This puts you in first place with 310. It's got to be sexual aerobics. All right, you're in first place. Now, Nick, I'm going to come over to here. You take over first place with 330. Sexual aerobics. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, there in first place, don't say a word, Brett. I want to make you sweat. I want to make you sweat just a little bit. The houses have 330. Now, you get this right. You and your lovely wife, Jerry, are off to the Caribbean. Otherwise, it's bon voyage to the houses. Don't be bringing down the house. You understand? It's up to you. What's it going to be? I like to work out sexual aerobics. She said you don't work 